I just came from the carpenter shop with Quinn and it was so cool. Yeah, I was at uh, Rebecca's house. She had wow. so very interesting things in her house. Like, her refrigerator was a hole in the wall. Like a, an actual hole? Yes, a hole. Wow, that's so crazy. Welcome, travelers. This is the synagogue of the village of Nazareth. Would you like to come in and visit? Come on in. The synagogue is our gathering place. It's our town hall, it's our community center. Uh, it, it's a multi-purpose room. You've seen our homes, our homes are very small. But in the morning on the Sabbath day, the whole village comes here to the synagogue. Maybe 165 people live here in Nazareth and everybody comes. And then once everybody's here, we will read from the Torah. Have you heard of Torah? Uh, yeah, I think I have. Oh, that's, the, that's the five books of Moses. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's our scripture. Now, if you were able to read Hebrew, you would read it in this direction. Oh, wow, because it looks like backwards. And... Yeah, it does and look backwards. It, well, I don't know. It depends on who you are, whether it's backwards or not. <laughs> but for us, that's frontwards. And look, this is a very difficult thing to read. There are no spaces between the letters. There's no punctuation. There's not even any vowels here. So to read this is a high skill. And quite frankly, most of us here in Nazareth don't know how to read. Who can read this in your village? Only a few of the elders, men who are, well, usually the wealthier ones whose family were able to hire a teacher for them, would have learned how to read. Now, when everybody's here, we will read seven passages. And when I say we will read, the few men who know how to read will come up here and read the passages for us, and we will all repeat after them. It takes about three years to go all the way through the Torah from one end to the other this way. Wow. But after a while, everybody knows all the stories. We know all the laws that are in here, the laws in, that are in the Torah, guide, well, they guide our lives. They, they have, there's laws what we wear, what, what our clothes are made of, what we eat, when we work, when we sleep, who we marry, everything has a law. Do you have any idea how many laws there are that we try to follow? Uh, as many as you can think of. <laughs> as many as you can, yeah, yeah exactly. But, well, people have counted them and there are 613 laws that we try to memorize. And that doesn't even include the top 10 that everybody knows about. Has Jesus ever been here? Well, this is Nazareth. Jesus grew up in the village of Nazareth. Wow, so he could have read this? Well, uh, once he learned how to read. I mean, m most of the children your age, well, are you being taught to read? Yes. Well, you're very fortunate. Not this. <laughs> not this, but... The, the young children would not have been taught to read. But if there was a particularly smart young man, or young woman, I suppose, they could come here and sit with the old men in the afternoons if their father would allow it and learn to read, maybe. Perhaps that's what Jesus did. Oh. Because we know that by the time he was, well, your age, he knew how to read. And he could discuss uh, the scriptures with, uh, well, with the Pharisees in the, in the temple in Jerusalem. People go, it's four days walk from here, though, to go to Jerusalem. You guys don't just like, drive? Or well, take we, a plane? If, if we're taking a flock, we would drive the flock, you know, with a stick. No, drive, no, 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 like, like an actual car. Like, yeah, like a car. Cart. Well, you see, we use a cart for our olives, and but then you, you have to have a donkey, and what not everybody plane? has a donkey. Well, the carpenter has a plane. He uses that when he makes the table like this. But no, no, we walk. Most of us walk. It's a long walk. It's a dusty walk. Yeah. Ooh, and, yeah. and you, you know, look, I mean, my sandals are great because you can kick them right off and wash your feet right away because it is a dusty, long walk. Well, is it okay if we look around? Oh, sure. Help yourself. Look around, explore. It's time for my midday meal anyway, so I'm going to go home. Okay. Yes, nice you. to meet you. Yes, nice Thank to you. meet you, too. That's our time for today. And we only saw a small part of the village. What surprised you the most about life in Jesus' time? What do you think was the coolest thing? 
What would you miss the most from modern life if you lived back then? Tell us in the comments below. Until next time, his word is forever alive.